So I just grabbed this guy off the roost. This is the gray ACL Cox only son to make it. He, I, he's got a daughter from a Pakistani hen and she's looking real healthy, like an ACL. But this guy is seemingly half ACL. And man, he don't look it. Now, I haven't had a cross stag in a while from an ACL cock to an American hen, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to be really solid. He's already five pounds, nine ounces, and my arm is getting tired as I hold him. He's a lot bigger in terms of his, uh, his density than his uh, yard colleagues. So I'm wondering how this is going to go. His brother's at my buddy's house, and they liked him so much that they gave me the other stags that uh, they hatched for my eggs. And they showed me a photo, and he looks real similar, except he's like a chalky white um, rather than like a gold, if you will. But he's real solid looking just like this. And you can see it in the head. He's got a lot of that ACL characteristic in the head. I don't know. But his body still looks like an American type file. We'll see. Here's a stag from a a back cross line. Back to the original brown red brood hen. Wingate hen that I had. I still have her. But anyway, this is down to a back to a seven eighths back cross to her side. And this is the only guy from that clutch, a single mated clutch. Um, he's the only one to survive. Hoping his beak gets a little thicker. Other than that, he's well built. I'm just watching him. He's a little young. He's roosting up here at the, the yard stags. Yeah, so that's a 7 8 back cross to my hand, my original hand. And, um,. <clears throat> I like her a lot. I like her daughters. We'll see how this guy matures. Who knows? I'm going to switch it up for next year for her. One of my yard stags. Just behind the yard cock. The yard cocks are gray, so, and he's pretty serious. But in terms of the stags, this guy is the top dog. And it's been interesting to watch. His brother was nicer in terms of build and uh, attitude. He was definitely older. I had some friends hatch some eggs, and they gave me a Dom stag back. Anyway, he was really great, but he got killed because he was sleeping way up high in the birch trees, or uh, the beech trees, rather. And I think an owl took him. So this guy has seen his share of uh, predation because he was kind of roosting with his brother. And he won't calm down in hands. The only time I ever held him. Good balance. I mean, excellent reflexes. He's just a little wild, but he had to be. He's got some nice sisters running around. Yeah, but I only have his mother, so he's a back cross. He would technic technically be a, a three-quarter chapel dom. One quarter Filipino Bulaco, red, white Bulaco. So I'm new to this blood, but uh, yeah, who knows? We'll see. He's the only one left that survived. I have the hen, the original hen, and I have one of her real nice daughters, a pullet that was straight bred. So him and his sister were straight bred. And then I have some other doms that are just in yard hatch from his father. He brought over some, some yard hens. But they're nicely built as well. Anyway, just looking at some stags tonight, some free-range stags. This guy's got one prop toe I don't like. So I'm not sure what I'll do. I'm not sure if I'll just watch him mature free-range or put him in a pen with his mother one more time. I don't know. His sister and his mother are nice red doms, but the mother is powerful. 
I mean, she had some chicks, not his clutch, but a later clutch. And I went in to grab a chick and she kicked me harder than I think any, any individual bird ever has. She's real strong, powerful red hen, red dom hen. Anyway, I'm going to put this guy back on his roost. Here's a little red quill, red quill moth, little stag. Anyway, I only have two of them now. And this one's fighting with his mother. But he's drawing blood on her and they're starting to get pretty scrappy between each other. And you can see how small he is compared to her. Yeah, he's he's drawn some blood on her comb there. And they can roost up there if they wanted to. They're small yet. You can see he's about the size of a chucker. But anyway, so I'm putting him in his own pen. He's built nice. He looks good. And I don't want them to, <clears throat> you know, be fighting with each other. So I got to get him out of here in his own pen. And his brother is a little calmer, I think. I don't think they're having any problems, but I'm going to put him in his own pen as well. And the others are pullets. This guy is really healthy. So this guy came out from my ma's, my ma's yard, my, uh, my mother's place down in Pennsylvania. And I set her up with some nice brown red fowl. And this guy is the only one to really come black red, if you will. And um, as you can see, he's getting a little cocky. But he's built nice. Good balance. He's real healthy. And this is the tough part is like you have to select. It can only be one as they mature into bull stags and then finally a, a cock. They'll eliminate each other. So you have to sell or pen up, separate, put in the freezer. And so selection is not easy. Anyway, yep. This guy is just a yard hatched uh, stag. He wasn't from no brood pen, but because of his look, I can tell you he's most likely of the North Britain fowl. You know, I have some hoy. I had some hoy and some sears blood. They were muff, but I think that they outcrossed with white hackle. Why not? The North Britain fowl and the muff fowl. Billy Lawman, they all came, well, they came from the same region. Northern England and Southern Scotland. Anyway, uh, this guy here is built really nice. <clears throat> I'm not going to put him in a brood pen and, and call it, you know, North Britain, but I'm just saying, to me, he's a yellow-legged white hackle. I mean, that's what he looks like. He looks real similar to my original hoy cock that I started with. And I had some of them running free range, so I think this is a straight-bred yard-hatched fowl. You know, that's from a different... That's from a different breeding. That was from an actual single mate situation right here. And so is that guy. That's one of my Hoi Moth. I think I gotta put him in the freezer. Yeah, I'm just looking at stags. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do. But I don't like this guy's back toes. This is the hard part. Selection, you know? 
he looks great until you really start feeling him. I mean, his toes I don't like, and then his sternum, his breastbone. The hens do like them though, so that might say something. The hens are following him around. His brother was nicer, but oh well, and at least I have some nice sisters of his. His sisters are in a brood pen, they're built, they're built well. But yeah, I mean, and that this, this guy was the result of a back cross to the original hoy muff cock I have. Yep, one of the yard stags. I mean, he comes from a brood pen and I was really hopeful, but his brothers all got killed and I don't know if I should just let him be. It looks good otherwise. one of my hatch stags free range because his keel's a little crooked and I think that was <clears throat> an environmental issue the way the way they're roosting uh, I took some old dresser drawer well some old dresser drawers and I converted them into nest boxes and so the clutch was roosting on the side of that real sharp dresser drawer there so I modified all of them now after the fact, but either way, I set him and some of his brothers loose, free range. He's the only one to make it to this point and he's getting real solid. So I have his brother who is a little smaller and slower maturing, but seemingly a better confirmation there in a pen, but this guy might end up replacing him, I don't know even with that kill because that and that's the thing it's like sometimes you turn them free range and they end up being superior the head shape is real different from my brown reds and i believe that's from uh, the gilmore cock i'm using So when the cock was, a, this cock here was a stag. He had a real interesting, almost narrow looking head, but now his head looks real good, I think. It's just kind of unique to him. But his daughters are real nice. So I'm gonna breed the daughters back to this guy. And uh, we had a rough summer. I mean, he didn't like being handled and he was getting a little hot. But you know, the hatch are from Long Island, you know what I mean? It's like, what's the angle? They have a reputation probably connected to the uh, mahoganies or various mahogany fowl from the tri-state and particularly New York City area. And I've talked to old timers, they tell me, yeah, we can never... We could never get get them not to be man fighters, and they'll talk about it. And I've heard several folks in New England say the green-legged fowl, the hatch, they don't got time for them, and other people really found some nice, well-behaved, calm hatch fowl. Anyway, I'm new to them, so almost sold this guy, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm going to single-mate him to his absolute best daughter and keep going forward.